it's that time of year again. Uh, it's hunting season, getting close. And uh, today we're going to get our guns sighted in. That's one of the most uh, integral parts of hunting. Um, get out there, find where the animals are, get your weapons ready, get your guns sighted in, so that way when you do see game, uh, you can make an accurate shot and a, and a shot that will help you be successful. So the last few years I've been using Sean's grandpa's 30-06. This year Sean's dad wants to use it, so I'm using the, the 308, and it's a lever action. And apparently this thing is the legend in the in the Upson family. It's taken more game than can be counted, so it's up to me to continue on in that tradition. Down three over five and a half. Yeah. Okay. That looks like you, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you have to adjust that thing a lot. Bullseye in that one yeah, shot. Yeah, that was the only one I didn't pull. Looking good, looking good. Got both guns pretty dialed in. Uh, right around the bullseye, one in the bullseye. So, we should be good at 100 yards, and then we just gotta, you know, look at our ballistics tables and figure out how everything is going to shoot, you know, out at 200, 250, 300, and, and on. So that's the key, is just knowing what your gun does and what you're, what you're capable of doing, so. How far away is that? 300 yards. 300? Yeah. Jug left behind, that's our motto.
disintegrated. Well, if the milk jugs were game, they'd all be dead. Yeah, we go home with uh, six wall hangers. Six wall hangers, yep. We were shooting milk jugs from 300 yards. Of, and we got the so we're worried about the 308 shooting out to that range, but it, I mean, it's pretty good. So. Yeah, right in there, right in the kill zone at 300. So. All right, so we're ready to go for next weekend. Wish us luck.